So now let us work with shatter effect inside of element 3D. So I'm gonna drag in my element plugin right here. And over here, I'm going to go into scene setup. So I'm going to bring in two objects, one for the initial stage. I'm going to go into the starter pack and bring in the ball fracture, which is actually a fractured ball. You don't see anything right here. You're gonna see it in a second. So I'm gonna bring it out of the group and here's my ball fracture. And I'm going to bring a normal ball that is the dead planet right here, which is quite similar. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to apply some uh, translucent object right here. So I can see like I'm going to use uh, something like a grass crack, glass crack right there. All right, so that seems too obvious. So I'm gonna go over here into something like this, maybe a clear object right here. So you can see that these are the object that I have. Now I'm gonna add in the same object uh, over here as well. So you can see that this is my object right here. That seems a bit different. All right. So anyways, I'm going to use a clear material right there, like blob, uh, blur orb. All right. So this seems more like it. And the dead planet blur orb. All right. So this is my uh, object without a shatter, but this one with the shatter. This is, this can actually be edited in the 3D program. So I'm going to go over here into ball fracture. I'm going to keep it in group two. So I'm going to go into ball fracture over here. Uh, I want to reduce the opacity. So I'm gonna go over here, down uh, over here, and I'm going to decrease the opacity. So you see the ball fracture right there. So this is 68%. Let me just copy the material right here and paste it on right here, paste the material over here. So I have the translucent effect. I'm also gonna turn on the environment so that you can see the uh, transparency. And in the environment, I'm just going to change the environment into something interesting like this one. All right, there you go. So you can see the transparency altogether. All right, so this is the one fracture, not the normal one. I'm going to press OK now. And now I have the ball fracture. Both of the objects are there. That's in group one and the fracture part is in group two. So I want to do a bit of an animation here. So I'm going to go into animation engine and I'm going to enable the animation right here. So now I have group one to group two transition. So let's say I want to want this animation to start around in two seconds, just like this. And I want to animate this. So I'm gonna add in a keyframe in animation. Let me just reveal this in timeline. And over here, I'm just going to drag it just one frame here. I can also press control and right arrow for this and I'm going to change the animation into the fractured one. So you can see that now the object transform transforms from the unfractured object to the fractured object. And over here, I'm going to expand the fractured object. So I'm going to go into group two where my fracture object lies and I'm going to go into the particle look and enable the multi-channel. So I'm gonna go over here, multi-object, not multi-channel, sorry, multi-object and it has been enabled. So now what I can do is I can actually scatter the animation just like this, as you can see. Let me just press Control Z to get it back. And I'm going to go into scatter objects so you can see there's scatter uh, XYZ. I'm gonna add in keyframe to all of them. I'm gonna add in keyframe to displace and position noise as well maybe. So now I also want to add an animation to rotation. So I'm going to just drag it around, maybe around in three seconds, I want it to scatter. So I'm going to increase the displacement option right here. So it has the scatter amount right here. I also want it to maybe scatter around so I can move, I want it to move in a random order just like this. And I also want to increase the noise a bit, not just too much. Uh, and then I want it to rotate as well in different direction in random order, just like this. And now you can see that it actually shatters, just like this. It goes over here. And then once I play the animation, it actually just shatters. So it shatters from one object to the next. So in the initial stage, you don't see any shatter. And once it goes here, you can see that the shatter is here and then the animation plays just like that. So that is how you can work with the shatter animation. So I'm just going to enable the environment as well to make it more dynamic. So I can go into uh, the render setting right here in the physical environment. I can show the background so that you can see the background as well. And you can play around with the lights to create uh, some shadow animation just like this. So cast the shadows, okay, there you go. There's the light, you can move around the light 
for different sort of effects just like this. Uh, let me just go over here and change the color of the light for example something like green, blue and any color that you want some intensity and let me change the intensity of the light right there so you get some feel of the animation and you can see that there's the shatter information so initial stage it cracks right there in this section cracks and it shatters so that is how you can uh, create a shatter animation inside of element 3d uh, use um, inside of element 3d i uh, hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe